We need to find ways to motivate our students to allocate more time to their education and to stay more focused during the time that they allocate. These are the most binding constraints we have in Initiative 2025 success. I have embedded simulation games and real life applications in my courses to achieve these goals. And what real life application is closer to the real life of students than time to degree? I have replaced many problems in my courses with problems built on the Matador success and institutional research data. I have incorporated this data in teaching concepts such as process flow analysis, strategic planning, time series analysis, association and regression, life cycle analysis, confidence interval and test of hypothesis, networks, visualization for communication, among others. Let me show you a piece of one of my lectures, which is directly related to the computations of time to degree in our college. Thank you very much for attending this session. We continue our discussion on the Lidl's law. Today, we apply to our very close vicinity. We apply to the time to degree of our students in our college, College of Business and Economics. Over the past seven years, the average number of incoming students per year to our college was 1,900. The average headcount was 6,600. On average, how long a student spend in this college? I have the throughput and I have the inventory. Throughput times flow time is equal to inventory and therefore 1,900 times flow time is equal to 6600. 3.47. After formulating the problem in the college level, we then go through each department, again by using the headcounts and the percentage of incoming students to each department, we compute the flow time. As we can see, these numbers look very nice. Great numbers. We wish they were correct. They are correct, but they are not time to degree. They are the average academic lifetime of students in our college. We then bring other facts into this stage. About 35% of these students are first-time freshmen, and the rest are first-time transfers. Given these facts, then we again compute the average life cycle of students in our college, and we end up with having that 3.47 to become 5.50. The final pieces of information that we bring into the stage are percentage of dropouts and percentage of graduates. After applying these percentages at global level, we come out with these numbers, and finally we recompute our academic lifetime and at this stage, now we can say that is time to degree, time to degree for our freshman students, which is 6.5 years. The data of this problem was prepared based on the institutional research numbers for past seven years. Thank you very much for attending this session.